I'm back with another layout. I'm just starting out by mat matting my photos on some tissue paper. And um, I was going to stick them down and uh, noticed I should probably put the date somewhere so that I don't forget. And usually I just put it on my roller stamp. And then when I'm ready to put the date on it, I can either stamp it or just write it. But at least I know that I have the date somewhere. So I had to cut off about um, 15 minutes of me trying different papers for matting these photos and none of them were working out. Um, so I just went for tissue paper even though I was trying to avoid it a little bit just because I've been using it for every layout lately. But I decided that, you know, it, it really was just the best way to go. So. I got a couple different ones, white and some pink. And I'm purposely cutting this pink one just a little bit bigger so that I can do some uh, pleats behind the photo there. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna fold the center just a few times. And I was trying to have it look nice and messy, but then uh, it didn't work out to the right length, so I had to redo it a little bit neater. Um, but yeah, uh, I've been using tissue paper. It's like, it's a great um, way to reuse um, tissue paper because sometimes it's too wrinkled up to reuse in gifts and stuff. But it's perfect for using in your scrapbooking and mixed media um, journals or art journals, whatever kind of thing you do. So now... Um, I knew where I wanted this photo to go, but I had no idea how what I was going to use. Like I hadn't pulled out any supplies. Like, um, so I actually went and pulled out this doily, and I pulled out some freckled fawn things that I got from my the, the Thanksgiving sale. Um, there's actually a haul video if you wanna take a look, and. Um, that Picture Perfect is also a freckled fawn title. It's kind of like um, very, very thin plastic. So it's not heavy at all. And I really like that it's a whole different texture. Um, so I'm just putting up my photos on some foam tape so that they can stand up a little bit. Some people use just craft foam. I just um, had completely forgotten to pick some up when I go to the craft store. I think it's a great idea because it's a lot cheaper than foam tape. So they use craft foam and then you use just your double-sided adhesive on each side of the foam. So I think that would um, I think that would work out well. And I've been totally meaning to get some. So I'm just going to put it right here and I'm thinking about how I should, um, where I should do my embellishment. So I kind of think that the title looks, looks good there on the bottom right. Um, I wanted to add some delicate things like this doily just because the picture is so sweet with the, my daughter in her frilly dress and the little teddy bears and stuff. So, um... I kind of thought of layering those vellum stickers, the ones on the left side there, but I couldn't find a good spot for them. So I just kept working. And I thought about putting this heart here next to the picture perfect, but something just wasn't right. So I got a clip and tried it out here and that worked okay. This this layout was a lot of like trial and error because I had an idea that I wanted the photos to go there. Uh, where all of the different colors and angles are meeting. But I wasn't sure what else I was going to do with it. So there was a lot of like, let's try and see if it works. <laughs> so I tried this camera and I thought it was great. So um, I'm just going to leave it there for the title. And then I knew I wanted to do some clusters with some of the cute stuff that... Um, some of the cute embellishments that I have. 
and I picked up a, a, a few more cute things. If you check out my paper issues haul, I did some Black Friday shopping there too. <laughs> yeah. I got the crepe paper main squeeze line and that's where these little things are from. And I also got the Pebbles Forever My Always. Out and there's they're just full of just cute little sweet sayings and Valentine's Day themed stuff. But um I just use I just use you know Valentine's Day stuff for like everyday stuff. So I'm just layering them here. And the crepe paper main squeeze also has these cute little llamas. I figured a, a page with this with a little girl with stuffed animals would be like the perfect place to use those llamas because I don't know where else I would use them. Even though I did buy two llama paper pads at Michael's, so we'll see what happens with those. But uh, yeah, I tried that little strip that said all the hard eyes. It just didn't go well with anything. So here's where I pull out the llamas. I pull out this one first. I was like, oh yeah, that's cute. But there's another one in there, and I'm like, what am I going to do with another single llama? So, <laughs> well, I'm just going to use them together here. So, uh, I'm layering there one behind the other. And this is one of those uh, layouts where once I got to this point, I was pretty much just like, if it looks good, just stick it there and don't think about it. So, once I was happy with something, I just, I just stuck it down. I didn't think twice or try to look for anything else. These are the st the vellum stickers, they're freckled fawn that I was looking at layering in the first place and they were just weren't fitting in with anything. But after I had gone to I after I had gotten to this point in the layout, they were they were looking pretty good there behind my clusters. So I decided that I wanted 3 of them. I wasn't sure where to put the other one. So I said, okay, I'll stick it back here. And it looks good, so leave it. <laughs> leave it and move on. So now I have to um I have to adhere this. And I used my Tombow um multi. It's like this liquid kind of tacky glue. And I like it because it's um it has this really, really thin applicator. You can see how fine it is. It's applying on there, and um, it's great for a lot of uses because it, um, if you put it down onto something when it's wet, it'll adhere like permanently. But if you put it on something and then let the glue dry, then it'll be, um, it'll be kind of like a posted adhesive. So you'll be able to stick that on and pick it back up again because it'll just uh, remain tacky. Um, it's really really convenient. I use it to do gold foiling too. Um, I draw with it and then let it dry and then put the gold foiling sheet on top and it sticks on it and it looks great so yeah there's a little tip for you. So now I'm getting these little puffy heart stickers and those are also from the, no actually these are pebbles, forever my always. And then this is like the uh, past Dear Lissy collection and it has these tiny tiny puffy stickers that are hearts and a little word that says love I think. Where did I get that love? Yeah, from that same set. So now I'm gonna do my journaling here. Uh, this is my favorite black pen. I got it from a store called Daiso. It's kind of like a Japanese dollar type store and um, they have really nice pens. They're, this one's a 0.38 pen so it's really fine and it's really black. So yeah definitely check that store out if you have one near you. They have a ton of craft supplies. And that's it for my layout guys. It's all finished. Um, stay tuned at the end. There's a view of the whole layout and some close-ups. 
Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you soon. Happy holidays. Bye.